What is up guys, it's your boy Rondo and we're gonna be reacting to another video and this one is Jubilee and they have teens, right? Just coming through and they're gonna be ranked based on their outfits by uh, professionals, you know, fashion industry professionals. <laughs> My name is Billery, and I'm a fashion designer and hand embroidery artist. My name is Jess. I okay. have been a professional fashion stylist for seven years now. What's up, guys? I'm Casey, and I also have been a wardrobe stylist and creative director for about 15 years now. Nice. How would you describe nice. Gen Z fashion? TikTok. I think it's emotionally charged. People <laughs> dress how they feel typically based on what they take in content-wise or music that they hear. I uh, work okay. for a Gen Z catered fashion brand right now, and it's heavily trend-focused. Cottage core, mermaid core, alt. It's inspired by Netflix shows like Wednesday Addams and like artists like Olivia Rodrigo, things like that. It's constantly changing. It's very niche, and mm -hmm. things go in and out of style very quickly. So basically, what, my, what, the ch what they're saying is my generation right is going more or less by you know the internet you know what i mean Every, but kids you know i grew up on the internet everybody grows up on the internet people follow trends typically and since the internet's just everywhere you know what i mean it everybody has access to the internet everybody's on the internet especially teens you know what i mean it's on an even bigger scale that these trends just go in and out of you know fucking circulation very quickly like something might be popular for one month and then it just completely changes the next month you know what i mean and some people might follow that a big red flag for internet, me right now internet is, dictating um, socks <laughs> shit <laughs> socks <laughs> i have a big appreciation for like a clean pair of socks now that is funny as okay well. all right we're gonna send out the first person you see how badly they get roasted i say my style is more formal 80s desk and Fitted. My style stems from some TikTok, definitely Tyler the Creator, and then my grandpa. Um, I steal a lot of his clothes. I'm just like a younger version of him. Okay. Cool. I would say my style is kind of like more on the girly side and also very put together. I guess I'm like more into like cottage core, like skirts and like the puff sleeves and like the bows and the hair. <laughs> That's cute. But. That is just so annoying. When people add core to the end of something, bro, I don't know why it annoys me. Oh my god, alternative core. Oh my god. Fucking what this bitch was saying earlier about fucking hashtags and shit, mermaid core and fucking core everything. Like, just, it's just a fucking word, man. It, whatever. I would say Y2K, emo, uh, rock. I fuck with it. The opium label kind of. group. And but yeah, I fuck skate with growing up, so. So basically, he listens to Destroy Lonely. Uh, Playboy Cardi, Ken Carson. I fuck with it though. It's some okay. I wouldn't wear the pants, but I would wear the shoes. I fuck with the with, with some of the um, you know, chains he's got on. Um, hold on, can we get a top look of it? Influenced it. Yeah, I, just, I fuck with some of the chains, um, the earrings. You know what I mean? I fuck with it, man. The hoodie's fire. Uh, the shirt's all right. I mean, actually, no, the white shirt is fine, but I think he has like a, a, a undershirt. I don't really fuck with the undershirt. I don't really like that. And then the. the F fingernail paint, that's cool. I fuck with it, you know what I mean? Mid-century eras, so 50s, 60s, even 70s. I yeah, draw a lot yeah. of inspiration from like See. older photos, and also I sew, so I have like a collection of vintage patterns. Okay, fair. Look at these fashion. Just e watching my grandparents and my mom watching them put clothes on and just dress nice. Uh -huh. It kind of just wanted to make myself just go out there and be nice. more presentable. Oh, look at him. This is not like, this is some shit that it looks like he put on himself. You know what I mean? This looks original for the most part, just out of his own like thoughts for the most part. Obviously he said that his fashion influences his grandparents and his mom, but you look cool, bro. I fuck with the dunks and the fucking, the, the fucking pants he's got in the left photo is cool. The floral shit and then on the right, the little sweater he's got at. Looks interesting. All right, guys, time to start roasting them. I want you to hurt these hey, kids' I'm fucking feelings. I'm the director of this episode. No, right Josh, now. fuck off. Like I think we were shocked. I, right? learned, I, learned, shocked a few things. Things. I learned a few things. Everyone was their own individual. Mm. So like I, yeah. I fully saw who they were. Like I saw an art teacher. I saw the rock star. I saw, the you know, the uncle. young cool <laughs> uncle. They look like they know who they are mm -hmm. based off of how they dress. That's 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 cool. I feel like Jubilee did pick people that kind of just. Yeah, 
Yeah, they, they, they really are, in a way, l you know, caring about how they look and, you know, basically just uh, based off of who they are. But that's, that's cool. That's amazing. I'm not going to lie. But uh, had they just gotten just a regular fucking dude off of the street, right? Your regular fucking Joe. Some fucking Joe that throws on a pair of t-shirts. The modern t-shirt, okay? The modern t-shirt, the modern pair of pants, and a modern pair of fucking, like, I don't know, Nikes. Like, what would you fashion-wise even be able to say? You know what I mean? Like, no thought was put into to that kind of... People know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Just a regular person walking down the street. A shirt, pants, shoes, that's it. Like, just the most plain as shit you could possibly think of. Can you really, can you really bag on that kind of, kind of style? You know what I mean? I hate. Her undergarments didn't quite go with mm -hmm. the top and they were like showing and then like she had her hair tie on and like small things that I feel like yeah. weren't she thought of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My bad, I, I can't take it serious. It's hilarious to me. It is hilarious, bro. Oh man. Yeah, some people, man, like it's, it's their lives. You know what I mean? Yes, fashion is a serious thing, man. Just as so some guy probably takes vintage baseball cards from the 1950s very fucking serious. There's probably a community out there. There's a community out there for anything, guys. I'm telling you. No, nah, that's cool, man. It's, it's nice to see some shit like this because this is like a different like perspective. This is a deeper look because most people just dress. You know what I mean? They might not take a second look or I maybe mean, they might take a couple looks at how or what they put on together. But these people are professional fashion. You know, they've been in the industry. And they take, like, a deep, deep, deep look into, like, you know what I mean? What people wear, you know? Because that's literally their fucking job. So it's it's, it's cool to see, man. Okay, okay the teens are going to rate themselves? Here. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'll take this spot. I don't and I'm know. like, I'm Wait. proud of it. I feel good, so. This is kind yeah, of Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Hard to do, because, like, you guys are, like, have your own personality and each of your own styles, and so I really true. love it. I don't know. That's I can't rank you guys. I you guys are so... I would put you here. I'm just not gonna move. <laughs> I love the colors. Uh huh. Oh, wait, this is the top? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no! Yeah. 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 I feel like I definitely want to keep you up here, though, for sure. You need to say, you need to say like, top three at the very least, because mm -hmm. you, she crocheted this. She, yeah, mm -hmm. she made it. She oh, knows. shit. The colors that she you're wearing that. as well Damn. are just so co cohesive. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I don't want to be like I want to move forward. Yes, do it, do it, do I it. I want to with you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm Heck gonna yeah. move right here. Oh, that would put like, first. Mm -hmm. right. I love it. I know, like, his pants are just, like, so unique, and I just love them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you. I put you second, only because it's it's not very common for me to see guys dress up. Like, mm -hmm. I'm used to yeah. seeing the girls stand Definitely. out, so I would put you, I would put you second. Uh -huh. That's why I'm behind him. Okay, so, <laughs> hot take. I just don't want that to, like, downplay, like, the women in this room that have like amazing style like i think uh -huh. that you two are like icons just because there's a dude in the room i don't think that we should like have that outweigh all of the intention and all of the thought that was put into both of your guys's looks but i also that's not to downplay like you look what are you talking about what are you going on about what is she going on about what is this little bit none of it makes sense they're just ranking, okay? None. Of, it doesn't have to do with him being a guy. I, I'm very confused. That you see online, like when you they're gave like up. 200 Ooh, fucking like, compliments yeah, in one like, sentence. Like, like, true. like the Perfectly energy, like it. down to the, the personality. Person. That that's me right there. I am that guy right there. That that'd be exactly fucking me, bro. That'd be exactly. You see the faces guy? He does not give a fuck. He doesn't give a single shit. Like I gave a fuck at first. It looked like he was like, okay, he's cool, you know, listening. But now he just looks fucking done. I would be done too. Are they just looking at him? Are these two looking at him? This man's spacing. I'd be spacing out too. Sweet. Oh my god. So I would definitely. I don't know. But I also. I, I really like women. So. Get gone, bro. I, okay. You guys go high. Sorry, I should stop oh, no, talking. I feel like he should stay at the front. I think you need to be higher. I know. So I, really do. I don't see your style really like look. ever. That's so thoughtful, and I really appreciate it. But I'm comfy here. I I, <laughs> I know I look great. <laughs> yeah. But like seriously, I. <laughs> <don't>... <laughs> hey, yo, yo, you guys can't tell me they don't give a fuck, bro. It's like the, look, man, the the car. I know they don't care. Look at this guy's face, bro. That was the funniest shit ever. Look, look at his new really face right here. I appreciate it, but right I'm comfy here. I, look, look. I know I look great. <laughs> it's like a side eye. Yeah, but, like, yeah he gave like a side eye. He's like, 
Oh, they can't. Can't take this girl serious. All right. I'd love to see you hire, but I also like you are. See, it's, it's, this is so hard. Can we just get in like a it's, single file? Nah, line? just leave it as it is at this point. Just fuck. All right, guys. So All like right, thank said, God. Now we got the fucking adults here that are actually gonna fucking rank. So let's see. Everybody is the least here. We were extremely blown away by everyone's style, considering you know you all's age and for when we grew up. We did not look like this. <laughs> for you guys to come out here and really display individuality and like such confidence cool, and such cool. energy, it was great. Um, so we have uh, Alyssa. Alyssa, we chose you because <laughs> we personally felt like you were very sweet. It was it was um, easily fadeable. So for number six, we have Ananya. I was proud, I liked it, you were one of my favorites. I do think that your nighttime look is a little daytime-ish. Keep her okay, going. Okay, so for number five, we have Noble. Oh, wow, I they put Noble the at five? Detail. It is just I'm a little surprised. bit more trendy of an outfit, so it's not as timeless in my opinion, but I still think it's really strong and cohesive. And we loved your attitude behind Fair enough. <laughs> your Thank presentation you. as well. Thank yeah. you. My boy, Brian. Ooh, oh, and he got a little gold on <laughs> So I work with LeBron James' family. Damn! His wife, I'm her stylist. And when you came out, it just reminded me of how all the NBA players come out the tunnel. Yeah, that's, how, that's some shit they be wearing, I was, yeah. <laughs> I was telling them, I was like, if I had to pick anybody to like style to steal, it would be yours. I love the edginess, I love the cleanliness, I love the choices, that's, everything That's dope, cool. I fuck with all that. Right. Number three, we have Imogen. We love your style looks like very much so you like you really know how to prepare a good picnic and Shit. have a good time. <laughs> All right. Well, we obviously know who the last two are. This guy that has this look right here, which I, I think I was saying earlier, I really do fuck with it's some shit. I'd, I'd really fuck with. And then this guy right here, he really does look the most sharpest. Like this guy's well put together. Number two is Kane. I personally loved how everything is thought out, how you cut your jeans to lay on your shoe better with the fur underneath, the layering of the belts, your accessories, your nails are done. We just love like the performance you gave, honestly. Just like sitting in that like angstiness was like really cool, yeah. <laughs> You're the kind of teenager I'm a little afraid of you, but I, I like that though, I like it. Yeah. It's, it's Every time you walked out, but I still remembered you. I still was yeah. like, dang, like I wonder what You had the like, do. I don't really care what the judges are gonna say about that. <laughs> <I like laughs> yeah, the attention yeah. to the detail, the nails. He looks like he doesn't give a but, shit. But uh, last but totally not least, our guy. Our number one. Our number one, Seb. Sebastian. <laughs> I feel like you could exist anywhere. Yeah, like you could work holy in Paris, shit. You can work in Milan, you can work in New York. Like you are very well layered, well tiered into who you are it's as like a person. It's like wise beyond your years. Yeah. That is fucking, yeah, that's, that, that's cool. I fuck with that. The way he described it, you know, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? You might wear certain things in a certain part of the world that you wouldn't wear in another part of the world. What this guy is wearing right here, I could imagine it in a lot of different places. So th that's that's a really good way to describe it. Holy yeah, shit. like you've been here before. Yeah, you dress like you read good books. Mm -hmm. like, I don't, I don't have like job <laughs> you, but you could also wear it to a first date. So it's very much so like put together, clean. Damn. Thanks a lot. Thank you. It's very good. Oh, did you look at that, guys? Kane didn't break his character even for a second. Yeah, that dude didn't break shit. He just stayed staring into the fucking abyss. Yeah, that guy, that guy was about it. He was about his opium shit. Yeah, you listen to Cardi every day, bro. Playboy Caddy. No way Noble didn't get top three. I think she has the most thought and put effort put in her style. I think, yeah, I think she, uh, low key I was surprised that she was like four. I think, or th or f was she five? No, I think she was five actually. I was surprised. I don't know. I think I think maybe top three would have been good. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Anyways, I'll catch you on the next one. Drop a like, subscribe. Peace.